Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. The God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. The dark of night. The dark of night. Nor the arrow. He will release me from the nets of sinful ones. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice. To find a dwelling place secure. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. The God of mercy. The God who saves. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. The dark of night. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for participating in the Holy Eucharist daily. Do share the link with others. We ask you to come forward to support our channel and the poor and the needy. During this Eucharist, we also pray for all your intentions as we celebrate today all workers day that the lord may help and guide and support all the workers as they deserve the dignity of labor surrendering all the intentions and prayers before the lord let us begin this eucharist signing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work graciously grant, that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 1 to 6. Some men came down from Judea and taught the brothers, Unless you have yourselves circumcised in the tradition of Moses, you cannot be saved. This led to disagreement, and after Paul and Barnabas had had a long argument with these men, 
it was arranged that Paul and Barnabas and others of the church should go up to Jerusalem and discuss the problem with the apostles and elders. All the members of the church saw them off, and as they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the pagans had been converted. And this news was received with the greatest satisfaction by the brothers. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and by the apostles and elders and gave an account of all that God had done with them. But certain members of the Pharisees' party who had become believers objected, insisting that the pagan should be circumcised and instructed to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to look into the matter. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm Our response I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Response I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there, and the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Response I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Response I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep and my own know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13 verses 54 to 58. At that time, coming to his hometown, Jesus taught the people in their synagogues, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and his own household. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. As well as this feast is known as the International Workers' Day and which calls us to reflect on the dignity of labor as St. Joseph lived a life of obedience to his occupation as well as to his family and the works that he did to each one of us as a family member in the 
house of Jesus of Nazareth. So my dear friends, first reading gives us the importance of the work which God had created as each one of us in the image and likeness of God. God created human beings, heaven and earth and he took rest on the seventh day. So my dear friends, to realize that God has created us in his own image and likeness and as well as he has given a dominion to rule the earth in a proper manner and not as we like or as we are, things go wrong. We need to thank God for all the creation and all the beings that he has created with his own image and likeness. And also the gospel gives us an important role as Jesus himself gives us his own identity as well as his own occupation. And we know that uh, every occupation is a vocation of God. Therefore, we need to realize ourselves and we need to respect every dignity of labor. Then only we can be a true creatures of our God and we can be true follower of God and Jesus who realize himself, his own occupation and his own identity. Therefore, we too need to realize ourselves that whatever work we do, it is a occasion from God. Maybe it a small or a greater work. We need to do it for the greater glory of God. So let us ask ourselves, do I really reflect myself that I need to really respect the nature? Do I really respect our occupation? Do I really identify myself as the creature of God? So let us, as we partake in this most holy sacrament of Eucharist, let us ask the grace and mercy from the Lord for all those moments we are not being grateful to God who is our creator. When we are really grateful to God, then only we can be a greater works or our workers in the sight of God. So during this Eucharist, let us pray for this grace to make us to realize a God's creation and God's occupation as well as our own identity to realize that we need to do whatever it comes on our way for a greater glory of God. Amen.
My dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty. In commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set us a voice and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the holy spirit our lord jesus christ through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy 
वेलकम दैम इन टू द लाइट ऑफ योर फेस ह्या मर्सियोन सॉल वी प्रे दैट ब्लेस वर्जन मेरी मदर ऑफ गॉड विद द ब्लेस जोसफ हॉर पाउस विद द ब्लेस अपोसल्स all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coeirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and his divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord from every evil graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for, for the, the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace My dear brothers and sisters this is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are we are called to the supper of this lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed spiritual communion pray My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us bring having fed upon heavenly delights we humbly ask you o lord that by the saint joseph's example cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit may almighty god bless us all the father the son the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is celebrated thanks be to god my dear brothers and sisters have a blessed day ahead
Oh